Hello and welcome to Rustic Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make some old-fashioned potato pancakes. These are great on those mornings when you've got some leftover mashed potatoes from the night before that you just really want to use up. If you're going to use leftover potatoes, you're going to want about three cups of mashed potatoes to one cup of flour. So adjust if you've got more or less than that to use. For mine today, however, I'm making fresh mashed potatoes. So let's get started. I've got three potatoes here that total almost two pounds. That should give me close to three cups of mashed when done. So first I'm going to peel these, cut them up, and soak them in some water for about 30 minutes. Now we'll boil the potatoes in some fresh salted water until they're tender. 12 to 15 minutes should do it. Then I'll drain them and dry them well. To help them dry out, I'm covering them with a bit of paper towel while they sit in the strainer. Then we'll mash them up a bit. And add a half cup of milk and continue mashing until smooth. In another bowl, we'll start with a cup of flour. Then we'll add two tablespoons of cubed butter. Cut that in until it makes a crumbly mixture. Now we can add a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt and mix that together. Now we'll add our mashed potatoes and mix it all together. In our skillet, we want a little oil or grease. So if you fry up some bacon first, you can just use the rendered fat there, or you can put in a little cooking oil. Either way, Get your skillet and oil hot. A medium high heat should do it. Drop balls of your batter into the hot oil. Then use your spatula to press them down into circles. Dip the back of the spatula into the hot oil to keep the batter from sticking to it. When you can see the sides firm up and start to turn brown, Give your pancakes a flip. Go for that nice golden brown color. And there you go. Delicious potato pancakes. Put a little maple syrup on those and go to town. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more Rustic Recipes.